fire is lit. It's coming. That cardboard was uh, what has left from making the fire. The cupboard helps with the speed of the fire lighting. But the fire is coming up. We are going to start cooking. Hi everybody. My name is Lindy Sue, the late Luma. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to do something different. We are cooking steamed maize bread or corn bread. Or whatever you call it but we are going to show that it's nice and delicious i'm going to take you through how we, we make it here in my village enjoy let's get started first and foremost we have to uh, remove the husks are they leaves? Are they peels? Oh, I think they are husks. Yo, English. So many words. In my language, it is just a leaf, a peel, a husk. One word. Likembe, singular. Emakembe, plural. By the way, my native language is Siswati. Yes, so we remove the husks in a very special way because later on we are going to be using them. So keep watching so that you see what we'll be using them for. They are very important. As much as they are not going to be consumed, they are very important. And this dish, a very important part of this dish. So that it is an authentic African dish. More so, this steamed mealy bread. After that, we will remove the kernels, the grains from the, the stovers or from the cobs. Because what we're going to be using is uh, other grains or the kernels. That is actually the edible part of maize or of corn. Once we do that, we will have other corn or the kernels and then we will grind the kernels. Uh, in the olden days... Um, not even the olden days. Some people still use them. And actually, I think we still have one at home. We used a grinding stone to make the paste or the dough. And later on, we used a manual grinding machine, which I'm going to be using today. And But then you can use your electric blender for this process it is still okay mealy bread mealy bread is very very delicious i love it you can eat your mealy bread you can have it for breakfast with tea it's delicious you can have your mealy bread with any stew or soup for lunch or for dinner it is delicious and you can have your mealy bread with a masi which is sour milk or fermented milk it is the most delicious dish actually for me I'd have it with a mercy any day. So keep watching 
and kindly subscribe to my channel let's grow this channel to a thousand subscribers like the video comment let's get these milli bread cooked Not too much. Just a maybe a spoonful, but it will all depend on how much milli dough you have, or corn dough, or maize dough, whatever you call it, and then a little bit of sugar too, because remember corn is sweet naturally. But we have to add a bit of sugar. You know what? In Africa, we don't usually do measurements. We just cook. And then we will need a baking powder so that our steamed mealy bread will increase. And then this is baking powder it doesn't matter what whatever brand you have I'm using this one so I'm just going to get a, a spoonful let's hope it's not too much and then just to zhuzh it up I'm going to add Three eggs. Three eggs. You see, because we need as much raising agents as possible to make our steamed bread a fluffy and enjoyable. So we mix. We mix. Oh, we also need uh, margarine. We also need margarine. So it is soft. Margarine. Uh, if you have butter, you can use butter. But I have margarine. So I'm going to use a bit of margarine. Because I want the steam bread to be very tasty. So, I'm just going to get a bit of it. This is enough for this much of dough. And then, I don't need the spoon anymore. And then our last ingredient is flour. Let's let's mix this first. Let's mix this first. Let's mix this first. Because we have to this has to mix. Mix it. Mix it. But you can start by combining the flour with the margarine, with the sugar and the salt. It depends. On, on you but let's do it like this for now I am doing it like this mind you guys I am not using measurements I just look at it and I do this is the way we do it we do we taste we do we taste and we look and then thickening the dough we use flour. I am using self raising with flour. Uh, you can use uh, other wheat flour that is not self raising, but then you'll have to add more of uh, baking powder. 
because I am using self-raising I didn't use much of the baking powder and then I mix I mix I want everything to be mixed everything to be mixed and my dough is still a bit but let me just add a bit of flour I think that's okay now yes it's gonna be yummy There's a dog barking that other side. I don't know why. But let me just carry on. If it's someone, they will shout. I think this door is fine. It's okay now. And later we'll be using these leaves as our, what would I say? Baking pans? I don't know. But then I'll be putting the dough inside those leaves and then covering up and then putting them in the pot, in the steam, so that they cook in steam. This bread, as it is called, steamed cornbread. That is what we are going to do. We are going to use steam to cook it. All right. that we do the steaming is okay because we are steaming here so I'm not going to be putting the bread I put it on the cobs like this and the steam 
steam is very hot. But wow, it's got a super colored too. Hey, some of them are not covered. Well, let's do this. Going to leave this a bit so that they a bit stiffer, and then we put more. We're going to use the maize over on top, and then we are going to put more bread. You always do. Uh, put here. Okay. Looks like my pot is small. Another layer.
final product is here. Yeah, our steamed mealy bread is ready now, ready to be consumed. Yummy, 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 yummy.